I'm Stacy Tisdale for Houdini. Hormones can play havoc in a woman's life, as we all know. PMS, menopause, perimenopause, depression. But you may not need to turn to pharmaceuticals for help. That according to Mary Bolster. And she is the editor-in-chief of Natural Health Magazine. Mary, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Stacy. It's nice to be here. Now, can herbs really help with some of these things we're discussing? PMS, menopause, depression. It's funny, at Natural Health, we call it the Hormone Express. And in an almost all women office, we are riding that thing all the time. <laughs> but yes, absolutely, herbs can help mitigate the effects of fluctuating hormones. Now, I know you say there's some specific things we can do for specific conditions. First, what can we do for cramps? You can take calcium. You can take about 1,200 milligrams a day of a calcium supplement, and that will help mitigate your cramps. Um, researchers have found a um, connection between cramps and a calcium deficiency. A lot of us feel kind of low and kind of blah when we have PMS. What are some things we can do? Well, I think a lot of people feel blah during their period because they have breast tenderness and they have bloating. And those things can really just kind of make you feel like, what the heck's wrong with me? And magnesium is something that can help you with that. So if you take magnesium supplements, that can help kind of get you over that just horrible feeling that's really been shown to reduce the um, the incidence of bloating and tenderness. Now, staying with menstruation, a lot of women are plagued by heavy flow. What can they do about that? Irregular periods, yeah. There's a something called a chaseberry, which is the fruit of the chaste tree, which I think is kind of funny. I don't know why I see a connection between chaste and menstrual flow, but I do. Um, anyway, and chaseberry has been proven to um, help women with irregular periods. You say there's also things we can do for mild depression. Yeah. Now this St. John's wort is an herb that's been used for a long time for depression. It's not good for clinical depression. If you have that, it's you really need... It's just for moderate or mild depression. That's right. And it's, and it's proven to be helpful for um, hormone-related depression. So yeah. that's a good one. A lot of women out there suffering from hot flashes. What are some things they can do? Um, black cohosh is a really popular herb for hot flashes. Native American women have used it for a very long time to um, kind of even out their hormone fluctuations. And when they're going through that, they're trying to regulate their estrogen levels. What are some things they can do to help that? Well, soy foods can actually help sort of keep your estrogen levels more constant because um, estrogen is low at different times of the cycle. And when your estrogen is high, that sort of keeps you feeling better about yourself. But when, it's, when it dips low, then you start to get some of these symptoms, and soy foods can help with that. So these supplements really work for these conditions? There's just dozens of studies, and more and more each time as women become more interested in complementary medicine. So all of these herbs have been tested and studied for, for a pretty long time now. Are they for everyone, or are there some people who really shouldn't take them? Well, we always tell everybody that you should check with your doctor first before starting any kind of supplement or herbal regimen, and this would be the same. And then there's some uh, medications, some prescription medications that interfere with herbs. So if you already take herbs and your doctor wants to put you on a prescription medication, you need to talk to your doctor about what herbs and supplements you're taking before you start any prescription medications. Even though these supplements can be helpful, how do I know when it's time to see a medical physician? I think you want to wait about a month. See, you know, take whatever it is for a month. If the symptoms don't go away or they get worse, you got to take, you got to stop taking them and go and see a doctor. Great advice. Mary Bolster, editor-in-chief, Natural Health Magazine. Thank you so much for joining us.